Welcome back to Solo Adventures! My name is Livy, and I'm here yet again with another BGG Solitaire PNP Contest game review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Remember, a card-based, puzzly push-your-luck game. So as usual, if you're not interested in watching me play this game, you can feel free to skip to the end to hear my final thoughts. Otherwise, let's venture forth. Okay, so getting set up for Rem Ember is very easy. We just shuffle up our nine dream cards and we put them out in a 3x3 grid in random order. And we shuffle up our memory cards. So in this game, the object is to um, store as many memories as possible in our long-term memory. So I'll explain how we do this. We have seven rounds, one for each day of the week. Um, we start by drawing three cards. So we're going to try to find these patterns somewhere in this grid. So let's see if there's any that we can find already. Now we can orient this card any way we want, um, but we can't, um, for example, shift over the, the pattern. So this pattern of logic, emotion, emotion could only be on one of these edge areas. It could not be running through the center. Which is what we have here, actually, emotion, emotion, and logic. And that's not valid. So we are not very lucky. Um, we don't have anything straight off the bat that we can claim. So we're going to have to start switching cards around. Now the first time we switch cards, uh, it's perfectly safe, but then after that, uh, we start to risk causing a nightmare. If we cause a nightmare, we lose all of our earned uh, short-term memories, so this is where the push-your-luck comes in. But I can make one free swap, so I'm going to do this. You can see the pattern matches, so this goes into short-term memory. And we can check to see really quickly if there's anything that's changed here for the better. Uh, nope. So let's try to get this pattern. So I'm going to make a swap. And to remind me um, how many times I've swapped, I'm going to put this little marker here. So if I roll a one, um, I have a nightmare and then I lose my memory. Five, so we're okay. And we get to store this memory. Now do we want to push our luck? I think we do, because our odds are still pretty good. So I'm going to switch these two and remind myself that I ro if I roll one or two, then I have a nightmare. Six, so nope, we're fine. And we get to keep all three of these in our short-term memory. Once we have solved all of these, we get to draw another three. And we can stop any time we like, but let's see if there's any easy, uh, easy matches here. I'm not going to push my luck any farther. Three memories is pretty good, so I am just going to stop for tonight. So these get shuffled up, and these are now in my long-term memory. So I'm going to put them over here. And I will put a little cube on this to remind me that that was Monday night. So we shuffle up our cards. And just put them out in any old random pattern. And then we shuffle up our memories. Okay, so let's go again. If only this was one uh, row down, we would have that. So we don't have any that match straight off the bat, so we're going to do um, a little switching around. So this one's free. And we get this one. And we're going to take a gamble to switch these guys. We are okay. Hmm. 
All right, let's try again. And we're fine again. All right, how far can we push our luck? Oh, here we have a special card. If we put this in our long-term memory, we'll be able to use this in future turns. So spending this card will allow us to draw an extra memory. We can only use it once in the week, um, then it's spent, but in any case, it's still worth one point at the end of the game. Just like every other long-term memory card. Mm, I really want this card, but it's gonna take me multiple switching around and I don't think I can do it. So I'm gonna say that's the end of this turn. These go into long-term memory. And that was Tuesday night. So let's get ready for the next round. Okay. Ooh, another one of these. So I think I'm going to do my free switch here. And put this in my short-term memory. And I'll put this one here. And we're fine. Hmm. I don't know about this one. Yeah, let's not push our luck. So I'm going to set this one aside here so I remember that I can spend this. Oh, one free reroll. That's extremely useful. Let's see if we can get that. Let's do this. How about we draw an extra memory? I'll spend this card. Let me switch these two. And we have to roll more. Oh, two. Nope, that was a nightmare, so I fail and we lose all of our memories. And that is the end of the night. All right. This one, and this one is already lined up. This would require me to switch two cards and I don't want to lose these. So I think that's enough for tonight. We only have two rounds left. that one and switch these guys three <laughs> we're safe mm. oh do I want to push our luck okay well, well, it's 50-50 if we try again. Maybe I don't want to do that. So I'm going to stop for tonight.
Next turn is our last turn. Be really nice to have a uh, free reroll here because I don't think we have any more easy memories to process. Um, let's do this. Oh, four. Good. No, I'm not going to push it anymore. So that is the end of the game. So let's tally up our final score. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we can compare it against this chart. 14 memories. Our rank is Siesta. So, yeah, that seems kind of like on the low side of average. Not too good, not too bad. But yeah, in any case, uh, what are my thoughts on this game? Let's talk about it. As usual, I am going to start talking about the build for this game. Rem Ember is a relatively easy build. It's just a few cards. They are small and square, so um, if your normal card making method involves using sleeves, that might be a bit troublesome for you. But if that isn't a problem for you, then this will be an easy build. So what did I like about this game? So in general, I find Rem Ember to be pretty light and pretty fast, which is a reason why I like it right off the bat. I like little games that can be played in small amounts of time. I also like that the rules are pretty easy. You can get into this game rather quickly. Something I really love about this game is its manual. Um, this is a short, simple little game with relatively simple rules, and so the rulebook might lead you to believe that this game is more complicated than it is, but in actuality, it just does a very good job of walking you very slowly through the process of learning the game and its various mechanics, and it frames it in kind of a narrative sort of sense that uh, you, you are somehow inside of somebody's brain and you are responsible for turning their memories into long-term memories, all while attempting to fend off nightmares. So there's a little bit of lore and a little bit of story. Um, not too heavy, but I, I think it's cute. It's fun. Now this is something that people might not like about this game, is that this game does feature a puzzle mechanic, but the push your luck element is extremely prominent and you really can't get around that. Um, if, if you're just unlucky, you are not going to do very well in this game. Likewise, if you deal out all the cards and your memory cards already match without having to make any swaps, well, those are some easy points. Personally, I don't mind that this game is pretty light and the puzzle doesn't stress my brain too much. I find it just really fun. I like that the game is played in seven rounds, so you have a chance to redeem yourself uh, if, if one night's uh, worth of memory sorting doesn't go well. It's possible to lose everything on one night and then make a pretty massive turnaround the next, so that is something that I appreciate. Also, the fact that you need to put the cards that have special abilities into your long-term memory before you can spend them, I think is really clever, because it forces you to be even more cautious with the, uh, the amount that you're willing to push your luck. I don't have a lot of complaints about this game, except for maybe when it comes to its visual style. Now, I know that this is a prototype game, but the artwork doesn't really do a lot for me. I feel like with the theme you could have something really cool, something really colorful, or something really stylized, and right now things are just extremely simplistic. Um, it does what it needs to do, it, it functions perfectly fine, but I would love to see this game with a facelift. 
The backs of the memory cards are blank, and I think that's a missed opportunity because we spend so much time looking at the back of the cards in this game. I think just making them look more interesting would really go a long way in helping to reinforce the theme and the mood of this game. Also, this could be just me, but I sometimes have a hard time remembering how many times I've made a swap, so therefore what number I, I have to roll at or above. I don't think that I'm the only person with a, a bit of a sketchy memory when it comes to things like this though, and I think it would have been nice if the game provided us with a little tracker. The game does come with some optional tokens that you can use to track your um, progress throughout the week, but they are printed right in with the manual, which is not ideal for me because I always print my manuals and my cards separately. And I don't want to cut up my manual. So yeah, maybe a little tracker board that has tracks for how many switches you've made in this turn, as well as what night of the week it is. I, I think that would be cool. I really had fun with Remember, and I think that if you are okay with a little bit of luck and you don't mind that the actual puzzle aspect is kind of secondary to the whole luck aspect, I think you'll have a good time with this. Personally, I know it feels awesome when I get a good streak going, um, when I can get, you know, six cards sorted out in a night. It, it feels really good to be able to chain such a big combo. And it, it makes you feel really clever when you find a way to think ahead to really maximize the way that you're switching the tiles around to minimize the rolls you need to make. So if this game looks interesting to you, please do try it out, because I had a lot of fun with it. Thank you so much for watching! If you haven't already, please subscribe, and if you want to help support the channel, you can check out my Patreon. Uh, you can also check out the Facebook group for all things solo gaming. So until next time, my friends, happy adventuring!